Welcome to your daily astrology horoscope for 17th April 2021, which is a Saturday. Firstly, I'm going to go over two brief things that I spoke about in yesterday's video. The first thing happens at about 3 a.m. Mercury is here and the moon is here. They are making a sextile. Now, what is Mercury? Mercury is our mind. It's our health. It's our day-to-day -day routine. It's our job. It's our a communication it's a perception and this is in sync with the moon what is the moon the moon is our emotional body so when they are in sync very basically put our mind and our emotions are working together so that happens at about 3 a.m. Pacific time okay so that's the first thing the second thing that I wanted to touch upon is happens at about 5 a.m. so let's move the chart to that there the moon right here is meeting up with Mars okay they are meeting up at 26 degrees of Gemini and typically when the moon and Mars conjunct like this I could say that you may feel angry you may feel frustrated because Mars is anger Mars is frustration but this conjunction is making a trine to Jupiter Jupiter is right here and trine is a positive angle 120 degree angle and what is Jupiter Jupiter is the most positive planet in the zodiac with a trine to Mars and moon it is invigorating our emotions it's invigorating our courage our drive our willpower we have tremendous energy to get things done we have tremendous positive emotional energy to move towards our goals and that happens at about 5 a.m. so the morning on Saturday will start with extremely positive emotions okay that's the first thing the second thing that I want to talk about is a little after that at about 6 37 a.m. so the moon is going to move to 27 degrees and it is going to sextile the sun so let's see that on the chart the moon is here 27 degrees of Gemini and the sun is here 27 degrees of Aries and they are in a sextile 60 degree angle which is positive okay and what is this all about the sun is our consciousness it's our identity it's our ego and what is the moon the moon is our emotional body and when they're in positive like this our consciousness our emotions are in sync okay and Going back to the new moon on 11th April, the moon was with the sun here, okay, that's what the new moon is and when they conjunct, they begin a new cycle. So we started a new monthly cycle on 11th April and that cycle brought about a deep transformation. We changed many, many things in our lives and it touched almost every aspect of our life and now the sextile of the moon to the sun is making us feel that whatever transformation we made, which felt a little difficult, whatever changes we made, it's we're seeing, we're feeling positive about it. We're seeing positive things happen because of it. So that happens at about 6.37 a.m. Pacific time. Now let's move on to the next thing. Okay. Actually, let's, yeah, let's move on to the next thing. This is something I spoke about yesterday also. So let's go over it again. Mars is here, okay? And Jupiter is here. They are trining, yes. But this is also in a sextile to Mercury as we discussed. So there's a lot going on here. And Pluto right here is also quincunxing Mars. Okay, it is semi sextiling Jupiter 30 degree angle and it is squaring Mercury. There's a lot going on. This is a lot of energy. Okay, and what is this energy all about? Basically, we have the courage to take action towards a new identity, towards a new life, but we will have to change something. Okay, something to do with old thought patterns old routines old health habits could be an old dietary pattern could be an old job so that our subconscious which is pluto our fears rather the lack of fears become compatible to the action that we are taking okay because we are ready we are mentally ready to take action and all this energy so much going on at 26 degrees mercury is at 26 mars is at 26 
Pluto is at 26, Jupiter is at 26, and they're all aspecting each other. Semi-sextile, sextile, sextile, quincunx, so much energy. And th this is what I just told you. It's all about that. Okay, so that happens today. And yeah, that happens today. And now let's move forward. The next thing that I want to talk about happens at about noon. Okay. So let's see that happen. Yeah, there we go. The moon changes signs. The moon is here. It's changed signs. It has come into the sign of Cancer. It was in the sign of Gemini. Now, why is this significant? The moon changes signs every two and a half days. And when it changes signs, the focus of our life shifts to that of the sign. So for the past two and a half days, we've been extremely focused on intellectual energy, mental energy, figuring things out, communication, perception, but now it's coming to the sign of cancer. And the moon loves cancer, it rules cancer. In cancer, we will start to go inwards a little bit. We'll start to nourish ourselves, take care of ourselves, retreat a little bit, focus on our family and loved ones. So that's the energy for the next two and a half days, okay? And I think this is a good thing because we've been moving forward with a lot of courage, with a lot of drive. We've been taking a lot of action and the moon coming into cancer will just help us take care of ourselves. Okay. And I also want to mention something that Saturn, Saturn, let's pull up Saturn. Okay. Saturn is here right now. It's at 12 degrees of Aquarius, but between 2017 and 2020, it was in the sign of Capricorn. Okay, it was in the sign of Capricorn. And every time the moon came into Cancer, which it is right now, Saturn opposed the moon. Saturn looked at it directly. So every time, every month, we did have trouble taking care of ourselves, nourishing ourselves between 2017 and 2020. But that energy is over now. So now we will be able to do that. Okay. And the last thing that I want to mention happens a little after the moon comes into the sign of cancer it is going to sextile venus there which that happens at 9 p.m pacific time okay venus is here and the moon is here and they're in a sextile 60 degree angle we are feeling extremely positive about our relationships about our projects about our finances about our self-worth values business partnerships, legal issues, beauty, all these things, we're feeling very positive about it. Or it could be that all these things that I just mentioned are taking a positive uh, route and we are feeling good because all these things are becoming positive in our life. Okay, and to sum it all up, today is an extremely positive day. The only challenge, so to speak, will be that you will have to destruct old ways of thinking, old routines, old habits, old dietary patterns so that you can fully take action and move into the new. Okay. And now I'm not going to talk about 17th April any longer. So you can put off this video. However, I am going to give a brief background about what's going on in the astrology for the past year or so to help you put things in context. So the first thing in that regard I want to touch upon is the is the Chiron. Chiron is here and Uranus semi-sextile, 30 degree angle between these two. And what is this all about? This is going to be with us all year. And this is basically about healing in unexpected ways. Okay, so this year we are going to heal in unexpected ways. And those ways are very closely connected to our values, our self-worth, our skills, how we make money. And we will have to come into our authentic self to heal. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is the Uranus. Uranus is here, Saturn is here. They're in a square all year. Okay, they're going to come exact three times this year, but this energy is going to be with us all year. And what is this energy? This energy is about coming into your authentic self, getting rid of old things, old patterns, old ways of being that are not you. Getting rid of the idea of who you think you should be and coming into who you actually are and 
who you actually are will be tangible by the end of the year. So that's another thing that's going to happen all year. The next thing is the Saturn Chiron semi sextile. Again, this is something that's going to be on most of the year. And they came exact, the sextile came exact on Feb 9th. So around then we started to take a decision. We started to build something that would heal our identity. And this something will be tangible by the end of the year. Okay. Then I want to talk about Jupiter and Saturn. They met up at zero degrees right here. Zero degrees of Aquarius in December of 2020 and began a 20 year cycle after ending a 20 year cycle. And since then, we have seen most of what this cycle is going to entail, not completely most of it. And in the next two years, we are going to lay the foundation for these next 20 years, a cycle that is going to be with us till 2040. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about is the Pluto Saturn conjunction that happened at about 22 degrees of. Uh, Capricorn right here they met up they met up at 22 degrees of Capricorn in Jan of 2020 and they meet once in 35 to 38 years and when they meet they end a 35 to 38 year cycle and begin a new one so they're in, in Jan of 2020 they ended a cycle that began for us between 1982 and 1984 and began a new one Jan of 2021 we saw that cycle come alive but we haven't seen it completely. And this uh, conjunction that happened in Jan of 2020 changed our material reality completely. And this is going to be with us for the next 35 to 38 years. Okay. And the last thing that I want to touch upon are the nodes. The North Node is in Gemini and the South Node is in Sagittarius. They were in the same uh, placement between 2001 and 2003. So whatever came into your life, whatever themes, whatever you started back then in 2001, 2003, you will be building, resolving, dealing with the same themes in your life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe and let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.